Are gasoline prices headed to $2 a gallon? Aston Martin puts solar panels on race cars and how Land Rover can protect itself from Chinese copycats. All that and more coming right up on Out of Line Daily. This is Auto Line Daily for December 1st, 2014, and we are looking for a partridge in a pear tree, but first the news. And there's some good news for car owners in the United States. Analysts are predicting that gasoline prices in some parts of the country will drop to only $2 a gallon in the next couple of weeks. The average price across the country right now is $2.79, and that's nearly a dollar less than it was a year ago. IHS estimates that that will save drivers about $500 a year. Talk about a mega stimulus to the economy. Gasoline use in the U.S. has been declining for the last few years, but this makes us wonder, will cheap prices at the pump turn that trend around? Speaking of fuel, France wants to stop using diesel to reduce pollution. Reuters reports that the country wants to limit the tax advantages it provides for purchasing a diesel engine and boost the price of diesel fuel. France is also setting up a system that will rank cars by how much they pollute. But you know, none of this is going to happen overnight. 80% of the cars in France are diesels. Nissan's full-size pickup, the Titan, is practically salesproof. But the automaker has a new truck on the way, and like all other automakers, it's showing it off with a series of teasers. In the first video of the Nissan Titan truckumentary, we get our first glance at the all-new truck. And while there's not a whole lot to see, it does look like it has a much more pronounced version of the current Titan's grille, as well as a reworked tailgate. The video also reminds us that the Titan will come with a diesel engine, which has served Ram pretty well, So it'll be interesting to see how well it serves Nissan. Still to come, Aston Martin puts solar panels on race cars and our advice to Land Rover on how to protect itself from Chinese copycats. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Aston Martin nabbed the top two places in its class to end the 2014 World Endurance Championship season that just ended in Brazil. And it was also able to finally test out solar panels on its race car. We first reported about the team up between Beijing-based Hanergy and Aston back in June to use thin film photovoltaic panels to power the auxiliary systems in the car, like the FIA mandated air conditioning system. While solar panels have been on top of the Vantage GTE car for the last four races, this weekend marked the first time that the technology was used during a trial stage. That test was a success and Aston hopes to have the system for the full season in next year's WEC Championship. OMG, here we go again. Another Chinese company is blatantly ripping off another car company's design. This time, it's a blatant ripoff of the Land Rover Evoque. Meet the Landwind X7 that has a base price nearly 80% cheaper than the real one. Land Rover, to say the least, is furious. But remember this blatant copy of the Ford F-150 pickup from JAC in China? It was introduced to the public, but never reached the showroom floor because Ford was able to block it. Bill Coughlin, who heads up all of Ford's intellectual property, was on Autoline After Hours two years ago and explained that if you properly patent and protect your IP through the proper agencies in China, you can absolutely protect yourself. So my advice to Ralph Spate, the CEO of Jaguar Land Rover, pick up the phone and give Bill Coughlin a call. Coming up next, 3D printing is all the rage and we'll look at what automakers are going to do with this technology. 
Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. If you didn't catch our AutoLine this week about 3D printing from earlier this year, you might have missed the point that automakers are using these printers to help improve manufacturing. Take a look. But there's a middle ground that people aren't hearing about because it doesn't have the sex appeal. When I'm Chrysler and I'm designing my next uh, automobile, the same time I'm designing that automobile, I'm designing a manufacturing floor. And there's lots of tools, what we refer to as jigs and fixtures on that manufacturing floor that in the years past had to be either sent out, would take weeks to do, or uh, machined and take uh, very expensive on, on the uh, manufacturer side. Now I can print it out on my 3D printer and change my manufacturing floor overnight makes me much more agile as a manufacturer and ergonomically for the workers actually they can produce these much lighter much easier to use for the workers so it, it helps productivity as well you know one thing I would like to interject here we have customers that are now putting 3d printers on the manufacturing plant floor and a, a good example that happened recently we had a, um, one of our customers had a manufacturing operation for an automotive company that was about ready to go mission down the, the, the plant was going to shut down. They had a, a, a new device that was going to be used to correct the part on the, sh on the manufacturing floor, but it was going to take six to eight weeks to have that part, have the injection molds made, then get a limited run device made. And so what they did is they designed the part, they 3D printed it, sent it down to the shop floor, they tested out the design, validated that it was going to work in the manufacturing environment, and then they sent it out for the final hard tooling. But while they were waiting for the finished injection molded part to come to the shop floor, they were already in production and they had zero downtime. And of course, you can head on over to our website or our YouTube channel to watch that entire show. Anyway, that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching.